Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, Monday through Thursday. Now, if you're new here, um, or if you just like to cross-watch, and you don't want to listen to the introduction, and this will be tagged on to all the videos in the front, go right down there, and there should be a timestamp. And what that'll do is that'll bypass the introduction for you. Anyway, I am going to be reading from Monday through Thursday. I will be using my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will use my Guardian Tar Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Inspirational Wisdom from Angels and Fairies. And, of course, my pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the introduction, we are going to do kind of a universal what's going on in the world reading with my Wade Rider Tarot, and I will pull one from my Colette Baron Reed Tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? So we have some, the interesting energies for me are on the 15th. So we're kind of in a little bit of a, a stasis, I would say. Now, okay, let's jump ahead. Anyway, the 24th of November, Jupiter will be going direct in Pisces. So you have to, when, when, it's, when things are slowing down to go direct, they almost come to a stop. I would say that right now Jupiter is, if not at, not at that stop, then at a really strong you know, really, you know, really um, slow crawl. Let's put it that way. So things are changing with Jupiter. Jupiter, you know, the, one of the planets, then except for Mars, everything else will be going direct. So, you know, Jupiter's kind of like holding there. Pisces is dream, spirituality, water energy. Jupiter is the god of, or the planet of good fortune, of wishes, of, you know, of big, largest type of energy. So it's kind of slow. It's looking down right now. So the other thing is with the, um, with the dates. The 15th of November, we have Venus, 28 degrees in Scorpio, trining Jupiter, 28 degrees in Pisces. And that's a really positive energy. Trining is very positive. They're Both of them are supporting each other. They're both kind of like, you know, um, basically saying to you know, Venus is saying to Jupiter, hey, let's get together, let's make this work. But again, too, we have those two water signs, again, spiritual energy. Scorpio does not like secrets, but yet Pisces will go into the depths to, you know, to discover the secrets. On the 15th, we also have the sun in Scorpio trining Neptune again in Pisces, and that's at 22 degrees. Um, so in, you know, in, in itself, the 15th, it feels very good energy. It feels very interesting, but yet at the same time, it, it does make me, you know, it's like one of those times that you go, things that make you go, hmm, hmm, what is happening with these energies here? The 16th, we have Mercury and Scorpio again, trining Jupiter. We have Venus entering on the 16th, Sagittarius, and on the 17th, we have Mercury entering Sagittarius. So now we have some of that fire energy coming about, some of that action energy. So not quite sure where I'm at with this. When people would ask, you know, because we just, we had the, you know, the whole Uranus and Taurus full moon eclipse, um, you know, they'd ask me, when did, when did I think that some of that energy would change? And I would say, and I would say, you know, like basically anywhere from like the 11th to the 15th, uh, the 15th, but again, the 15th just has a different energy to it. I really can't tell you what I'm feeling with it. So let's go ahead and pull some cards or have the cards jump out. And not quite sure. Oh, there's there's that card right there. This one is this one is reversed. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. Well, we have things that are upside down usually have a little stronger energy. Court cards have our dual energy. So pages underlying energy will be um, earth and that is our pentacle energy, that is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy, money, job, career. Knights, which this is, the underlying energy is our fire energy, and that would be our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, passionate, burning, and determined. Now, queens 
have our water energy or our cup energy. And that is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, fluid, emotional, and very spiritual energy. And then we have our kings, whose underlying energy is swords or air, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Thought processes, make, you know, thinking things through, also making some plans, also hearing news. So what do we have going on for the week of, you know, of the 14th through the 17th, we get, we come and we start out with the Knight of Pentacles. So underlying energy, again, that fire, that passion, that action energy, wanting to make movement, wanting to have, you know, get things done, wanting things to actually move, okay? Knights are directional, so they go where they're directed. They go, you know, they'll go when they get started, okay? So this one wants to go here. I find this interesting that it's not directly to the side. It's actually a little bit off, you know, off to the side. So it is an interesting energy with that. It's kind of like the horse is not necessarily going the way that we really think it's going to go. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. So that underlying is fire. Pentacles, that earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So the Knight of Pentacles stands still for a moment. The Knight of Pentacles wants to make some movement, wants things to change, wants to have some action. However, the Knight of Pentacles is very deliberate in his movement. He wants to make sure that what he's doing is basically the best calculated risk that he can do. Once he's made that, made that decision, once he's plotted out whatever he needs to plot out, he then gets to work. And he, when he gets to work, things happen a lot faster than you would think. So, something with that going on. Now we have that four. Remember, numbers have some energy, have a lot of energy too. Um, we're using them for a very um, positive vibration. We're using our numbers to raise our vibrations. So we have the four of cups, that water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have that four, a stability, leadership, organization. The four of cups is that card that's just in that old in-between stage. I, you know, it's kind of like if you look, he's kind of, you know, he's sitting there with his arm crossed, not necessarily embracing his his present and yet not necessarily embracing his future. I call this, again, that in-between time. Sometimes this is the waiting time. Sometimes this is just that frustrating, why isn't stuff happening? Why isn't that knight running into battle? Why isn't that knight moving? Okay, so we have to be a little bit more deliberate. We have to make our plans. Why, why, why? It's very frustrating energy. You see, he's looking at his three of cups, not necessarily happy with them, not, not wanting to knock them down either. There's a divine cup coming and saying, hey, look at me, look at me. We've got some opportunities here. Just kind of like not really, um, not really ready to make a move, not ready to make a move. So let's see what this mystery one on the floor was. Temperance. So we have a 14 energy. Again, we have that one energy, which is a new beginning, new start. And then we have that four that I just talked about. Add the four, one and four together becomes five, and it's all about change. So temperance is all about balance, is all about waiting, all about compromise, all about not making that move, not making that move, not rushing into anything right now. It's just waiting, 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 waiting. Um, it's have patience. Um, things are, you know, things are happening, but just have patience. So it's an interesting energy. Have patience. Things are happening. Uh, once we get this, once we really figure it all out, this night does get to work and does make some big changes. So it's kind of a frustrating energy for this week. We will see what we will see. Okay, let's see what we have with the Colette Baron Reed energy here. Huh. Higher power. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power, Holy Spirit, God, Source, and ask just, just give the people, give what they need, what they need. So let's see what we've got here. Also, too, remember down there, down there is the like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. Really, um, you know, it, it's important to keep to support the channel, so support me by doing that. I really do appreciate you doing that. Um, it keeps, it does keep me going. I mean, if I, if if things, if people aren't watching, then it's kind of like, do I continue? So please like, share, subscribe. Many people have told me 
that they have, um, many people have told me that they have had to resubscribe in order to get um, the video. So for what, some reason, maybe I'm too positive of a message, um, it doesn't always come out. So anyway, so now we have the four of fire. So we have that four energy again. We have that fire energy. Can um, I'm sorry, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And remember, Sagittarius energy is starting to really pick up right now. That fire energy, that adventurous energy, that directional energy, that action energy is starting to move. The four of fire, the four of rods, is traditionally a celebratory energy. Is you know, it's kind of like a um, a graduation, a wedding. It's like the culmination. It's a culminative type a cumulative type of energy and it's a you know you've gotten to this point you're now ready for your next chapter so the four of fire actually is a loving lovely energy to have it is an energy you really want to have so it's kind i don't know is it kind of like after all the waiting things come to you know things come to a culmination things you know things now move 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 it could be but this also is one of the celebratory cards so interesting with that okay again remember to like share subscribe click on the bell interesting stuff um you know just interesting stuff going on as always okay why don't we start our videos now <music>